Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Today's topic is what is survey. Fundamentally, survey is a method of gathering information from a group of people with an intention of generalizing the results for a larger population. Survey provide critical source of data and insight for every sample member and it is important for knowledge economy, for business, media, government, as well as academia. One of the main objective of survey is collection of information from a group of individuals. It actually describes attitudes, opinions, behavior, or characteristics of a sample population. It helps or recommends generalizing results to a widespread population. So what are surveys? The very first one is case study survey. In case study survey, we collect information from a part of a group or community and we don't have any intention to include everyone in the survey. However, case study survey provides only specific information about the community studied or sample population. Number two is sampled survey. This sampled survey directs towards a sample portion of a group to answer the question. So you will try to get information sample of a bigger group. Third one is census survey. In census survey, you will send questionnaire to every member of the population and it will give you the most accurate information about the group. However, may not be that much practical for a larger population. However, it can be done with smaller groups to get exact information. This slide shows reasons to conduct survey. Why we conduct survey? So the very first point is forecasting forecasting for future that today for example a company stands at a particular position and after number of months or years what can be a company's growth number two opinion and belief like 10 years back if a survey has been conducted and because of the technology and the media and many other items presently what are the opinions and beliefs of the sample population for a certain subject. Number three is follow up that you have done something in any organization, you are putting focus on operations, then you will follow up and get the result for better decision making. Then evaluation. Evaluation means you have set a target and you will see the situation where the procedure stands, whether it has achieved the target or still needs more attention. So evaluation of the process. Next one is uncovering the answers. So there is a problem statement or some questions and you would like to give answers. So it will help in this regard. Then base decisions. So uh, decision making is based on data collection, is based on the data. If you have information, then you can take decisions. And if we don't have uh, data with us, information with us, we are unable to take exact decisions. It helps for base decisions. It also, it also evoke discussion in order to go through main points and see the importance or some challenges. Finally, result comparison that you have taken the data like last month and you would like the current month, you can have a comparison within two it depends on nature of the study that you need yearly time comparison or monthly or quarterly this is actually as per the requirement so survey design if we will talk about survey design we can find two classifications number one is longitude in longitudinal classification we can see trend survey and the main focus of trend survey is to see the trend that how people behave after a certain period of time. The second one is cohort. In a cohort survey, 
researcher will identify some category of people that are interested in regular surveys. So you will get information after a certain period of the time with the same group and you will analyze the result like there is a disease. So two months back there was a disease and some medicine was given to the patient and after a couple of months or six months the difference. So it can be used in medical science or psychological or whatever is important. Then there is a panel discussion. Unlike in a trend survey, the sum sample people do participate in survey each time it is administered. So you will you will inquire from the same group of people. Panel studies can be difficult and costly and if you want to administer a survey of 500 people every year for next five years, it requires financial support. The second one is cross-sectional survey. It is a combination of descriptive and analytic research design. Cross-sectional study is actually defined as a type of observational research that analyzes data of variables collected at one given point in time across a sample population. We also say it is a cross-sectional analysis. So for descriptive uh, type, a cross-sectional study can be a descriptive and it will assess how often or widely variable of interest occurs throughout a specific demographic and analytical shows investigation between the association of two different variables and these variables can be unrelated. However, this uh, is not a foolproof thought or foolproof methodology. There may be a variance and which needs further correction. So how to conduct survey? So there are different modes of conducting uh, the survey like face to face surveys. You can sit and there is a respondent is in front of you and you can ask questions. You can go for telephonic surveys. You can call anybody for required information. Self-administered paper and pencil survey that you will provide your questionnaire to someone and he will fill. Self-administered computer surveys means online surveys, online forms available like Google Forms, Survey Monkey. In this manner, cross-sectional surveys we have discussed, longitudinal, very much clear in the last slide, and retroscopic that they deal with changes over time. But like a cross-sectional study, they are administered only once. Thank you very much. You are welcome for any question. Please write me an email on info or put some comment if you under the video. Thank you very much.